Hey, what's happening, my peeps and peepettes? This is your King Revs Power here at the review station for the next exciting video review, which is not part of my regular scheduled programming, as I was going to review Alpha 5 today, but the Black Ranger arrived just in the nick of time before I pulled out the camera, so let's do this. Let's get the Rangers out of the way so we can move on to Alpha 5, which I've got some things to say about that character when we get to the review, and it may be some good things after all. Spoiler alert. Anyway, with that said... Here is the Black Rangers packaging to start off the review. As per take of every single video review when I can, we must go for the packaging first and foremost. So here we go. We got the Power Rangers logo there, limited edition. Build a Megazord, which is showing off the movie Megazord. We got a nice picture of the Black Ranger on the side here for the profile of the packaging. And we got the movie Power Rangers logo right here. We got the exclusive Toys R Us sticker right there onto the back of the packaging. And here we got an upscaled version of that same image of the Build a Megazord with the Rangers here indicating on what parts they come with to said Build Megazord. And then we've got the Rangers here and we got Alpha 5 which is a part of this Build a Megazord series which I'm not complaining now. So there's that. So here we have the Black Ranger figure, and boy, oh boy, do the colors really work on this character. I mean, look at this. We got black, we got silver, we got blue highlights, and we got a little bit of yellow here for the power coin itself. This looks good. These colors really work with the plastic going on here. I love the glossy black. I love the metallic silver. I love the blue highlights across the torso area and here for the diamond. It, it all looks good, and it really does match up. Now, having said that, I will say that uh, you really don't notice the Macedon at all with the sculpting of this helmet. Uh, in some areas, you can kind of see a little bit of the Macedon uh, representation to the sculpting, but this is way off chart. I mean, you, you just really don't notice anything here. As a matter of fact... There's so much black, like physical black, that you really don't notice even the visor. I mean, it's very difficult to see what is going on here with this design. But for the rest of the figure, I mean, the paint job on it is it, really top-notch. Some really good work, and I'm glad that there's no sloppiness at all to this one. This is a really, really nice touch. And the silver on the back is here. It's present, unlike on the female Rangers. Uh, the nice blue diamonds here, you can visibly see them from far away because of the black on the blue and it, it's really good color choice i just wish i could see more of the detail on the ranger's helmet but having said that yeah i'm, I'm not seeing a message on here just like his uh his Zord from the movie, it, it more looks like a spider than a Mastodon, but this helmet, it doesn't look like anything at all. It's just black. Uh, the You know, can tell from the faceplate, I mean, that's there. I mean, obviously, it's a common thing for the Mighty Morphin Rangers to have a mouth plate, which does look pretty good on this figure, but every other bit of detail is hardly noticeable. But, uh... It's not to say it's bad, it's just the design element of the uh, said movie design for the Black Rangers costume. But nonetheless, it's still a nice representation of what's seen in the movie, so it's not bad. So let's get to the articulation anyway. We got the swivel cut at the head for all the legacy figures again. I'm going to keep mentioning this until they do something about it. This needs to be a ball joint system. And we got the hinge joint for up and down movement at the neck, which is always welcomed. We got ball jointed, not really ratcheting shoulders. These are pretty weak, and it's on both arms here. This one kind of works. This one doesn't really work, but they're really not that good. And then we got that rotation going on there with portion of the ball joint. No bicep swivels to the male rangers, and you understand why. We got double jointed elbows for them. Ball jointed wrist. We got a swivel cut at the upper portion of the ball joint, so it's on par with SH Figuarts. We got an ab crunch feature for uh, the Black Ranger as well. It's all the other rangers, but this one... Uh, it's kind of tight and actually does hold its placement, so it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's something. And then we got a waist rotation here on the sculpting of the figure. And there's ball jointed legs for this much going forward. Not much going back at all, just back to a normal stance because of the sculpting of the butt. And then we got the splits going on here, which is perfection. 
We've got a swivel cut at the thigh section, double jointed knees, and we got a hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet, and then we've got the included ankle rocker pivot, which is pretty good on this figure. So yeah, uh, posability might be limited at the arms, but for the most part, it's not bad. I mean, you can still get the figure in some really decent poses if you try, but I'm not going to try because that'd be me just wasting time. So the least I can do is try to get him to just stand up in some fashion. So that'll work. Uh, last other thing to really show off with this uh, figure is his included accessory, which isn't much, and that is just this. The right leg to the build of Megazord, which is the movie Megazord. So if you have portions of the Megazord, if not the whole thing, you can just pick this right in place, and there you go. Now we have a look at the completed build a megazord from this series so two build a megazords out of the uh four that we got currently at this time uh yeah <laughs> and then uh bandai america wonders why no one likes the build a megazord concept because it's it's broken up in groups and it's not fun when you gotta wait so long to complete even one freaking megazord at least for the movie series they didn't break it up in groups that i can very much appreciate so let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparisons with the rest of the rangers of this series so here's the red ranger let's bring in the pink ranger uh let's try to get the blue ranger in this picture right next to the megazord and somehow some way let's get the yellow ranger in here if you'll stand, she's in the weirdest pose, but hey, if it works, it works. I'm going to get her to lean back on the Red Ranger. That'll work. So there's a nice group shot, somewhat. If I can get the Black Ranger in there a little bit more. Yeah, that will work. So um, there's the Mighty Morphin Rangers of the new modern era for the movie verse. And I got to say, the suits have really grown on me. I just really wish I could love these figures, but due to the, some of these decisions and the budget cuts on them to fit a price point of $20, they lack on quite a bit. Uh, paint apps is one thing, articulation is another, and of course the accessories count is slim pickings, if not just the build of Megazord pieces. The Red Ranger was fortunate enough to at least have his power sword, and I, I cannot express how much that is so unfair with these Rangers, but then again, we don't even know if these rangers are going to have any weapons in the movie, minus the Red Ranger, which we saw in the trailer. He does have his power sword. So, for the most part, it might be accurate, but I still wish they came with those nice, translucent, blue, flame, power-punching effects that the 5-inch rangers came with. And if I keep talking about it, I'm probably going to go buy those then and now sets just so I can have those pieces. So, anyway... That's going to do it for this video review. Can I recommend the Black Ranger? Yes, I can. If you're a completionist or if you're really into the movie designs, then this is home base, definitely. So, questions, comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of this video. If you like today's video review, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see other video reviews similar to the one you're seeing here today. From the reviewing station, this is your King Red is Power signing off saying thank you very much for watching this. And I will see you whenever you see me.